but whatever. We hinted at it. We hinted at it. We're going to move on to the updated GA list, which if you look in the channel, there is a link that will take us to those updated yeah. GAs. Oh, I got bright. Holy. Yeah, this is a very light mode thing. Yeah. All right, so before we hop into this, we need to do some vocabulary lessons because I realize not everybody that's going to watch this is going to be a uh, competitive COD enthusiast. So we're going to run down some lists of terms real quick that I can think of off the top of my head, starting off with the name of the podcast, Torching Time. What is Torching Time? It's basically wasting someone else's time whenever there's a scheduled event. So if I tell TJ we're recording the podcast at 6 o'clock and then I show up at 6.15, I have officially torched 15 minutes of TJ's time. Gentlemen's Agreements. Different from outright bans in the league. Gentlemen's Agreements are the majority of the players that matter. So if I decide not to use the AK-47, my opinion on that doesn't matter. But the majority of the players whose opinions matter within a realm of whatever they're in will just take a majority vote and they'll say not to use this. That is what we're going to talk about right now. The majority of the players have agreed not to use this. So everyone else that was in the minority has to abide by the majority vote. So, with that said... Hold on. What happens if they don't follow GAs? Let's uh, if they don't follow GAs, let's say off the top of my head, let's say Havoc decides he doesn't want to follow what Crim6 says. Havoc plays for Florida. Florida will never get a scrim the rest of the season until they start playing, uh, paying, uh, playing by the GA rule set that the pros have agreed on. So if you don't follow this list, other teams will just not play you, and then you don't get practice, and you get worse, and you're punished in that way. You're didn't essentially... That in BO4 didn't that Classic. happen to who? Classic in BO4, because he wanted to use it. <clears throat> oh yeah, Classic was Classic was blacklisted for like a few weeks in BO4 because he wanted to run the, uh, the Rampart after he figured out it was a cheat code, and then the rest of the league wanted to ban it. Yep. So... And then just other terms to throw out real quick before we start talking. Chalked basically means you're going to give up on something. It's over. There's no point in ret uh, continuing to try. Just chalking something up and then moving on with your life. And then there's another term I had written down, but I don't know where that list went, so we're going to talk about the GAs. Starting from the top to the bottom, the tactical rifles. These things should be banned, but people at the CDL just don't use their brains and they think. It's going to be, I'm sure of it. It just hasn't been updated yet. I hope so. So, the GA list, not the official ban list, the GA list, the things the players have agreed not to use. TAC rifles, that means the AUG, the M16, the DMR-14, the Type 63, I have no problem with that because the DMR and the Type 63 are just annoying, and then the AUG and the M16 are outright broken. Yeah. Uh, moving down the list, assault rifles, the AK-47 has been officially GA'd by pro players. I don't necessarily think that needed to happen, but then again, I don't play with pro players. I know the AK-47 is very good, but I've always preferred the Krieg, so... The pro players seem to like that from what I've seen on Twitter. The AK-47 apparently in the hands of the best people on the planet, I guess, is like giving an MLB player an aluminum bat and assuming that they wouldn't get better. I don't like it. Yeah, you no, wouldn't like, like it? Whatsoever. It's the only gun you're good with, bro. Ever since BO4, I... you've been the KN okay. forehead. Listen... Realistically, I don't like it just because the AK is my favorite gun. But I can kind of understand how it would balance out better. I mean, yeah. before, everybody could just run around with the AK and you could outgun subs, could outgun the Krieg. Like, it didn't matter. So I get why they did it. I'm just kind of upset because it's the AK. I don't think the AK was as broken as the uh, launch FFAR, but the AK was definitely the do-it-all gun. There could be four AKs on the map and no one would ever suffer. The AK-47, rather, because there's a 74. Right. But See, in the AIDS lobby I played in the other day, I ran the AK-74U, and it felt great. Now that the AK-47 isn't on the map, it's, it actually made the subs viable. I didn't realize this until Accuracy pointed it out, because I was in Sensor's stream, I think, and he rated Accuracy. Mm -hmm. Accuracy was talking about the time to kills. I didn't realize this, that the AK-74 only kills in one less bullet than the Krieg at any distance. Yeah, the thing, it, it beams. It's... I, I knew it was a good gun, I just didn't know that was a hard fact. Then again, I guess I just miss a lot of shots at the 74 because I'm not used to its recoil pattern. It has a really goofy recoil pattern. It, it's super weird, but after you get used to it, it 
it's disgusting. Uh, speaking of SMGs, the KSP-45, I agree with that because it falls into the same category as the AUG and the M16, where it just one-bursts people for no fucking apparent reason. I, I, try, I That was like my second gun trying to get gold after I gave up on the whole black ether, whatever the hell bullshit. And that gun was garbage in pubs, but that's also because other people were running the M16 and stuff. They buffed it, which I don't know why they buffed it, but like... I'm going to throw this out there, just like another PSA to Treyarch. In a game with 150 health, burst weapons should never one burst kill somebody. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why does an SMG that shoots a 45 ACP round based on its name, I'm assuming that's what the 45 means. Why does a 3 round burst 45 ACP SMG do 50 damage per bullet? You're... I mean, I get so it makes it viable, but it doesn't make sense. I mean, what was the, uh, it wasn't, it was the, uh, oh, I'm, I'm having a brain fart. What was the really accurate SMG from BO4 that had the burst mod? Um, shit. It had the unicorn. Uh, the GKS. The GKS. Yeah, like, the GKS had a burst attachment, but it didn't one burst. I think it was garbage. <laughs> I, I mean, it was garbage in the realm of compared to the SOG and... No, it was, it was garbage all around. The Corday, it was the worst SMG, but like that was balanced. It wasn't not every gun in the game has to be the best gun in the game, right? Which best gun in the game? Speaking of pistols, the oh the 1911 is officially GA'd. Roger, the Magnum has also been GA'd. The 1911 is falls into the same category as the KSP, where I get the 1911 is a back to back World War champ. <laughs> Why does it three shot kill people? The 1911 has a quicker time to kill than my Krieg. And the AK. And the AK. It's and the 74. Days. That's what you tilted about the last time we ran GB, yeah. is you got first shot on somebody bottom playing on checkmate and they turned yeah. on you with an 1911. I lost complete and absolute. Especially fun. considering headshot multipliers aren't turned off. Yeah. The yeah. thinking two shot kill that's right next to you, which I guess that's the same as the uh, TAC 40. Not the TAC 40. The, uh, the 45 pistol in BO2. The really big one. It was supposed to be the Mark 23, but I don't remember what it was called. I'm not sure. I don't remember either. But pistols, 1911 Magnum. Magnum, yes. 1911, yes, to an extent. The Diamati's absolute garbage, but I guess that's the point of a sidearm. See, I, I kind of don't agree with the Magnum, just because its fire rate was super slow. Like, I get, yeah, two-shotted, but nine times out of ten, by the time you get the, that second shot off, you're dead. Because I even I used it a few times in GBs and it was not good. I've never used the Magnum. My only experience with the Magnum is getting fucking memed with people running dual Magnums in pubs, and I just instantly die and don't get a chance to understand what happened to me. That's probably why I got GA'd. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> probably. I just it's always the same. All Magnums are always banned. I don't like. What was the I'm last game? Me. What was the last game we played where the Magnum wasn't banned? Because it was banned last year too. GA'd rather not banned. I have to be careful with my terminology. I mean, I get why, because it's a super strong pistol. But, I don't know, I feel like the fire rate kind of balances it out. But that's just me. Like, in, the grand, in the grand scheme of things, the Diamati will probably make things better, air quotes. I'm not sure and pistols really matter that much. They're just annoying to die to. It's not like somebody's gonna run around with a 1911 and just take over the map. Like, a uh, Pharaoh in uh, World War II with the duelist, ta uh, duelist perk on. Or fucking simp with the strafe, was it? Yeah, this. Uh, look, that does, that's, a, that's a good debate. 1911 or strife? Yeah, strife, whatever the fuck it's called. I mean, they're the same gun, effectively, but I guess yeah. in the way the game, the game, yeah. the strife had less recoil than the 1911, so I guess the strife would be the uh, the better gun between those two. Right, and I don't understand why that one didn't get GA'd, but this one is. Uh, because the RK7 and the Mozu were GA'd in BO4. That was the only thing they had left. Okay, that makes sense. The RK-7 was a pocket M16 and the Mozu... What's the... Magnum? Mozu was a Magnum. That was also GA'd. So anyway, moving down the list. Snipers! The hottest topic of the entire community. Comp, pubs, anything. No sniper rifles and respawn. Hardpointy control, you're not allowed to use a sniper because apparently they're that good and that impactful on a map. And then one sniper allowed an SMD, which... 
yeah, whatever. I played against a dual sniper setup, and it's annoying, but it's annoying in every game. I don't understand the difference between snipers in this game and snipers last year. Right. Other than the maps are more arcadey this year, and I guess it makes it easier for snipers to do that. I don't know. I'm still of the mindset that if they turned off aim assist and uh, added flinch, the snipers would be balanced, but they're just never going to do that. Yeah, I... I kind of agree with the one sniper in SND because I mean they are super annoying and like on maps like I don't know checkmate you can literally have a sniper on both sides of the plane and you're pretty much set. I mean yeah, but here's where the other is it will mention below. It has to be mentioned below. Yeah, we're limited to two smokes in S and D because thermals are GA. That's the next thing on the list is thermal sides are GA. So the counter to snipers is smoke grenades. That's where people have to use common sense and smoke off where the sniper's going to be and then play around that, because unless the sniper gets a pick, the sniper's at a disadvantage. And you right. can argue, oh, snipers are good for quickscoping, which that's true, but that also has been the case in every COD. A sniper, a pro player is going to be good with a sniper in any situation, compared to a normal player. Like, even players like Tupac. Not saying Tupac's bad, he's not a pro player, though. Right. But, like, the snipers are such a hot debate. I just don't see why the snipers this year are worse than last year. So, we already talked about thermal sites. Thermal sites need to be gone. GBs, please listen to that. Barrel Task Force. I get the Task Force ban because Task Force is adding... Uh, high caliber. High cal. Yeah, high cal to the SMGs. And the only gun that has high cal was the Krieg. And it had built-in high cal. And they nerfed the high cal, so... Them getting rid of the headshot bonus on SMGs was a balance attack, was a, a counterbalance to the Krieg. So I'm okay with that one. It makes the SMGs have a, a better purpose. And the next one says all body attachments restricted. I don't know what that means. Lasers. Uh, lasers, flashlights, stuff like that. Okay, yes, yeah, so I knew about that one. That one's an old one. So all lasers and flashlights are restricted because hip fire is kind of cheap. Yep. The muzzle, KGB Eliminator, and SOCOM. The KGB is horizontal recoil, and the SOCOM Eliminator, I don't know what that one does, because I never used it. Uh, I think that one, I'm pretty sure that one adds damage. I could Maybe. be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure that's the one that adds damage. It might be. I don't know what it is, because I never used it. I know KGB is horizontal recoil. Uh, wild cards, the perk agreed, so apparently that one's officially off the table if I ever run something outside of GBs. Lawbreaker is only allowed without overkill, that's an old one. Gunfight is allowed, that's a typo, gunfight error is allowed. Perk gearhead, gearhead is the one that lets you get your, um, equipment quicker, I think. So, like, your trophies, you get it, uh, significantly quicker. Items, lethals, molotovs are off the table, tacticals... Uh, no smoke grenades and hard point of control. That one's a stupid one. I don't agree with that one. Outright getting rid of smoke grenades? No. Restricting them? Yes. Because smoke grenades are very annoying. Right. But I guess that's the point of running I, I think part of that has to do with uh, your trophy systems don't destroy the smoke grenades half the time. I mean, if that's the case, then that's an issue Treyarch needs to fix. Because exactly. smoke grenades destroy tomahawks. Or do they? Uh... Uh, science will do that later okay uh teams limited to smokes and s d like i said i agree with that limit the smoke grenades don't outright get rid of them because especially the way this game works in uh in a uh, respawn ars posting up on head glitches is the meta how do you counter head glitching ars you smoke them off but field upgrade teams limited to three trophies and jammer Jammer is banned, you can only use three trophies, which and, I don't... I mean, Jammer basically gives you a counter UAV for that little bit of area. Yeah, I know, but so that's... That uh, score streaks. Teams are trialing artillery at 1600 score and cruise missile at 2000 score. That's a lot of kills for an artillery, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Wait... I'm trying to think of how many points exactly you get for a kill, but I'm not sure. It's 100. Okay. So, so you, you need 16 kills for an artillery? I can't be well, right. I mean, it's score, so you also got, like, hard point time. I mean, okay, fair enough, but... 
I feel okay. like it should be a little bit lower though. Right. If you still go on an eight kill streak in the hard point, you're still sitting at twelve hundred. Right. And the score streaks don't reset on they do reset on death in the competitive rule set. They're trialing that one, so I don't know about that one. I hope that one doesn't get passed, because that's gonna make things boring. You have to go you have to go on a twenty kill streak to get a cruise missile. <laughs> Yeah, You're two thirds of the way to a noob, and you have a cruise. <laughs> um, other miscellaneous things: cartel, hardpoint is GA. They don't want to play that. That's going to get removed anyway. And then auto sprint must be disabled, which I guess that matters to pro players. I don't think it really matters I that think much. It's partially just the stuff from last year coming over. Probably. The only issue I have with auto sprint must be disabled is one, I never turned auto sprint enabled on, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> I never had that turned off. And then two, if I was a pro player, because I know just me playing the amount I play, I literally have a dent in my left thumb. So. Yeah. I just looked down at my thumb. Definitely, there's a dent. <laughs> 